It's like leaving on a jet plane. On a jet plane. Without the plane part, with jet wings on their backs, two flyers got dropped off over Dubai. Being strapped to a four-engine jet wing is unique enough, but flying in formation is unheard of. Climbing, diving at a top speed of 190 miles per hour, crisscrossing each other. The undisputed leader is 56-year-old Yves Rossi. It's fun. Also known as Jetman, and now he's got a protege, Jetman Jr., 30-year-old Vince uh, Reffe. Flying like a fighter jet, you know, but not inside the cockpit, you know. I'm actually like flying it with my body, so it's a beautiful feeling. So how do they steer? With this, up, down, left, right. The flyer holds the throttle, Fully loaded with kerosene, the jet wing weighs 121 pounds, but you don't feel the weight while flying. Vince says that his very first flight was emotional. I came back down and I cried a bit. Now he's doing splits with his partner around the tallest building in the world. How'd they get permission? The project is funded by Dubai, which is getting a reputation for promoting extreme sports. But the jet wing can't yet do what the rocketeer did. How do I look? Like a hood ornament. The rocketeer could take off from the ground. That's something the jet men are working on. The kerosene runs out after a 10 minute flight. They parachute to Earth. The wing has its own parachute in case the flyer has to disconnect, as Eve once did over the Strait of Gibraltar. And look at this. It looks like I'm flying on the couch a little bit, yeah. He's a jetpack potato. Genimo CNN. New York.